Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down, then we see, then we see, then we see. Hopefully this records today. Very aggravated yesterday, did that whole webinar and it did not record, okay? Uh, so we'll go over some of that here uh, just to put it on tape. So really quickly, really quickly as, as people are coming in, there's something, things that you can do on any stock. It doesn't have to be NVIDIA. But think when you have a big winner and you have extra week and an extra time, right? So let's say you have NVIDIA three, 3.30s like we had. They're $2, okay? But you have another week. You have another week, right? And say that they're $50. They'll be $51 today because they're 30 in the money. You could actually go out. And you could buy, now you could have bought them for just a day of protection, or you could buy them for next week. So let's say you buy the NVIDIA next week's, the five, uh, the 380 puts, and they're $5 or $6, okay? So now you've created a spread, one, one strike to the upside, one strike to the downside, Right? So that strike, when you take the two strikes and you subtract it, that position will always be worth $50 because one's a call and one's a put. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quiz. Guys, type this in. If you don't understand this, you need to understand this within seconds, not by thinking about it for 10 minutes. If you have the 310 calls and the 400 puts, what's the value going to be no matter what? Come on, type it. Nine. 90. 310 and 400 puts would be 90. Okay? What if you had the 350 calls and the 380 puts? 30. There you go. Very nice. Very simple. Okay? So if you have the 330 calls and you bought the 380 puts, your value is 50. Now, you have to say, I may have paid $2 for the calls and say you paid ten or $8 for the puts, so that's $10. But your value is always going to be 50. So you subtract what you put in 10. And no matter what, you're going to get that 50 near at the end and near expiration. So now you can let that position play out. You don't have to worry about it. What if NVIDIA goes to 400? Let's say it goes to 500, just making up stuff. Let's say it goes to 500. Then your, your 330 calls go to 170. Your puts go to zero. But you, you stayed in the game with, with no risk. You, you had that $50 that you're going to get. Okay, now let's turn this around and let's say the, the debt rating agency is downgraded. The whole world goes to shit and our NVIDIA goes to 300 Your position was worth 50 but it goes to 300 Oh, shit, Sam. No, it doesn't matter. Because you bought the 380 puts, right? So your 380 puts are now $80, right? Because it goes to 300, they're $80 in the money. Let's say it goes back to 330. That means your calls go to zero, but your puts go to 50. They're always going to be worth 50. See, that's why when, when you have a huge play like NVIDIA, right off the bat, if you would have bought the 390s yesterday, you would have had 60 points. 60 points. And if you'd have paid $10 for the puts, you'd be, okay. So it would be worth 60. It's going to be worth 60 or more no matter what. Okay? Okay? So hope you understand that. Okay? Very, very straightforward. Okay, massive. Bid. Look at this uh, Avago. We bought these Avagos at a dollar. Now, we sold them at six, but a lot of people are holding them. They're going to be 43 Think about the market we have right now. They're running certain things. Land research. All you have to think about land research is, wait a second here. If Jensen says $1 trillion in new equipment have to be bought in the next couple of years, well, you're going to need memory. That means Micron will get better. That means who, who makes the parts? Now, once again, for new folks, okay, before you can make anything, before you make a car, you got to buy wheels. You got to buy brakes. You got to buy brake pads. You got to buy sealants. You got to buy windshield. Okay? 
Before you make a, a computer chip, you have to buy the equipment to make the chip. How do you make the chip? Oh, you just go buy this and this, and everybody's doing it by hand, like a a, a Rolex maker. They're just going to sit there and they're going to make the thing by hand. No, you have to buy a machine that makes the chips. Okay, and that mach those machines are made by ASML, Land Research. Uh, KLA 10 core and applied materials. Those are the four biggest people that make machines. Now, LAM research specializes in the memory machine. Okay? So if you need more memory, Micron, then LAM research. Okay? If you need more of, of a different type of chip, then maybe a matter, etc. Okay? Now, on top of that, not only do you need the machines, you need the parts. So you need the silicon wafers, and you need the clean rooms, and you need all this stuff, okay? So that's why land research runs so huge, because you're making the equipment, right? And every year, every year, as the size of a, that computer chip gets smaller, that old equipment is no good. you got to throw it away. So let's say you can make a chip that went into... Uh, say, a, a computer from the 1980s. That chip was huge. What good is that equipment that makes that chip? So it's no good anymore, right? So they're constantly an upgrade cycle. Is the upgrade cycle a week, a month? Typically, those last a minimum of 18 months to three years. Upgrade, downgrade, both of them. Okay? Interesting, interesting. That's why land research is running so much. But they have earnings, okay? Okay, so Jensen came on uh, last week on TV. <laughs> These are things that Sam notices. I don't know if you notice this or not, but this is why, why Sam is Sam. And this is why Sam notices, and this is why people love him, okay? So Jensen comes on with NOW CEO. NOW CEO came on TV, and it took 584 and it ripped through 592, and this is now 540. It's 540. They came on TV, and they said, this is the future. That's it. AI. AI, 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 AI. Large language model. AI, AI, AI. So NVIDIA, Sam recognized this and said, they're not going to miss. No matter what, the stock may go down 5 or 10, but they're not going to miss. But it didn't. It went way up. Okay? And he said, great. Now, yesterday, AI CEO, Tom Siebel, Tom Siebel, the guy that started Siebel Systems, sold it. I believe he sold it to PeopleSoft. And then, then I believe PeopleSoft sold to Oracle. Okay? So the guy started a company and sold it for billions. Okay? So first of all, he sold it for billions. Think about this. So he has billions. He doesn't have millions. He has billions like Elon. And this short guy comes out and creates a thesis that they're lying to you on all their revenue. So explain this to me. You're a CEO, and you have billions of dollars in your account, in your life. You've made billions of dollars. Are you going to let uh, your company, this new company that you started, be a fraud? So you're going to go to jail with billions of dollars in your account. Really? I mean, explain to this, this to me. Now, I can understand tax evasion, stuff like that. But this is, let's, let's go create, this is like Elon saying, uh, hey, let's go create a company that's fake. We're going to put out fake reports and fake everything. We'll send fake statements to people. and We won't have a product. We'll all be fake. But I'm the richest guy in the world. Let's do that. What the hell is wrong with people? So AI is real. I don't care what anybody says. It's real. If a guy has billions of dollars, he's not going to put out fraud. It doesn't make any sense. Sam's all about sense. Okay? So now he comes on TV yesterday, and he says, I've never seen demand like this in any product anywhere in my life. He's 60 plus. Ever. I've never seen demand like this. After hours. So what's he telling you? So 
no matter what, his earnings are going to be good. We already know that. Does he guide up? I don't know. Maybe he guides up, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. That's still an iffy. But the thing is, it's not fake. Okay? Now, Amazon. Amazon, are they going to go create this whole infrastructure too? Or are they just going to completely lose to Microsoft and Azure? Maybe. Interesting, interesting. Okay? Uh, so AI is interesting. Now, people telling me yesterday, so let's see if you guys can think uh, think about this, this okay? Uh, why would uh, Amazon and these stocks not go up? Uh, there is another side of this. You got to look at it from every side. The other side is if, if NVIDIA keeps raising prices and Microsoft and, and Azure and Google Cloud, they have to buy these new chips, their expense goes higher, right? So that's the downside. Their investment goes higher, okay? Interesting, interesting, interesting. And then we see, then we see, then we see. NVIDIA, Kathy, how stupid is she? She's selling NVIDIA at lows in the hundreds, and it takes off. But her whole thesis is the world is changing. All these are going to be new companies. Really? Makes no sense. Now, NVIDIA today, if this gets at 288, it has a chance at 292. If 292 can hold for 10 minutes, it can hit 392. It can hit 400. Don't know, don't know, don't know. Okay? So we we took a shot at this 385s. But look at this Avago. This Avago keeps going. This is going to be 800. This is going to be 800. Jesus. Unbelievable. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Pan W. Watch for a break over 210, 211. Then it'll run all day. Then it'll run all day. Now, Pan W, great earnings. Zscaler already told us that, right? Well, CrowdStrike reports earnings next week. If CrowdStrike guides higher, and that gets Pan W through this beast number, probably gets to 216, 219. But then a week after that, you have another catalyst. You have Zscaler earnings. So does it get to 230? Possible. Let's see, let's see, let's see. But you still have this debt deal. If this thing goes bad today, they're going to take the market down into the weekend. If it gets done, maybe they take it up. Okay, that's what we know. That's what we know. Okay, chill and wait, chill and wait, chill and wait. Okay, on certain things, you just have to relax. Tesla, great news yesterday, but you know, see, Elon doesn't pump things the way I would if my stock was way down like this. He signs his four. Do you think he's just by the kindness of his heart, he's saying, you know, I'm just going to let everybody use our chargers. We built them and we paid for them and everything, but I'm not going to charge Ford anything, really. Wait till it comes out what he's charging Ford or what Ford's paying him for this. There has to be something, right? There has to be something. So that means it's a positive for Tesla. And then this should be 288, 289 right now, but it's not. 188, 189 right now, but it's not. So just wait and see. If it doesn't go, that means it had its move. We caught the move. We sold the first one, rolled up. You had a triple on the second one, but then it came back down. So you just have to wait. Just have to wait and see how it all plays out, okay? Wait and see, wait and see, wait and see. I believe a bunch of news is coming out. That's what's take, taking this out. Let's see. But I don't think the news matters, okay? Interesting, interesting. Now, why didn't I buy AI for next week? Does somebody know? I'm trying to get you guys to think about this. Because AI didn't break through, and if it's under 30 and it sits there, and Monday's a holiday, he's going to take the premiums lower. People keep asking me yesterday, well, you're going to buy this, you're going to buy NVIDIA for next. Why do I want to buy NVIDIA for next week if it just sits here and it goes down another five or six points, and then you have Monday is a holiday, why do I want to buy NVIDIA? 
right now. Maybe I'll buy it near the end of the close of the day, but I sure don't want to buy it now unless I'm going to take a shot for the cheaper one closer to the money. Okay? Okay. I hope all this recorded. Uh, hold on. Mike just tell me big number. What big number just came? PC preferred and rises to 4.4. Oh, PCE came in way higher. Interesting, interesting. That's not so good. That means another raise. Okay. We know they're going to keep raising. We know they're going to keep raising. Then we see, then we see. That's not so good. But they may take it down on that. They may not like that. But let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, that's what we know. Okay, let's get started. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, 526. 526. End of the month. Uh, guys, I'm going to be in Vegas, going to Vegas Saturday morning, so I'll be there uh, Saturday and Sunday. If you're around, let me know. We can meet up. We will definitely do Fremont Street one day, too, so it uh, should be fun. Okay? Uh, so Vegas Saturday, if anybody wants to be there. <clears throat> okay? Uh, SPX down one, down one. It was up eight. Now it's down one on the PC. The number is bad. The number itself is bad. implies that market can go lower. Let's see what happens. But do they run this into tax? <clears throat> they may run it into tax later. Don't force trades. We had a great week. Now, I got so many messages. People made millions. People made millions. Literally, you can't imagine how many calls I took of people making millions. Okay? But I also took lots of calls from people making 10 grand and 15 grand and 20 grand. And here's the first thing I told them. Take half of your money out, put it in another account, and enjoy it for a little while. Don't give it back tomorrow, okay? And you don't have to play 10 positions. You just chill and wait. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. This PC is bad. Let's see what happens. I, I don't think we're going to break 40, 4,100, so it doesn't really matter, okay? So that's what we know. That's what we know. That's what we know, Okay. Uh, SPX 4172, 4191, underneath 4132 is 4100, 4109, 4100. Avago, what a breakout. Stunner, stunner, stunner. 752, 771, underneath 716, 716. NVIDIA, 386, 388. If it can get to, uh, get to 392, it can spike. Okay, underneath 362. Pan W, this was trying. If this can get through five, five, uh, one, uh, 210, 211, it can run all day today. And if it doesn't, it goes back down to 201, 200, then you go back into 205 for next week for CrowdStrike earnings. Land research, if they pop this down to 601 and open, because of this, this, uh, uh, PC, if they pound it down to 601 and you get an opportunity to buy the 610s for today at under a dollar, it's a nice lotto. Doesn't mean it's going to work. It's a nice lotto. But the better play lotto for next week, if you can get the 630s at $3, because they're going to give you earnings. And if the techs get done and the deal is done and we take the market up, this has got 630, 650 written all over it. So the three would go to 20. Now, maybe the three goes to zero. I'm just telling you what's possible. Just like I told you it was possible with NVIDIA 370. We told you it can go to 370. And we had people buying the 370s, and they made a killing. Doesn't mean it's going to get there. It just means it's possible. Amazon is up while everything else reversed. Interesting. A little bit better. AI. I like the 30s for next week but not more than a dollar. If they take it down to 26 and you get them for a dollar, it becomes an interesting. Meta, a little bit of higher as the market goes lower. Think about this. We bought, sold these five, four layers. We sold them on Monday. Why? Because it fails often. So now it needs 256 and then 261. Google, 125, 126, 60, big number. Netflix can't seem to get through three. 366. Now, here's the thing, guys. People are notoriously dumb. Do you really think 
they tested this password sharing, and they're going to crack down on it. And they're just going to lose a million customers or two million customers. You really think they didn't test and figure out what was possible? Maybe said they say, oh, we lose a million, but we get a million, and then we'll grow from there. Maybe. There's no way they, they said, we're going to lose a million or two million or four million people, and so be it. That would be dumb, guys. Reed Hastings is anything but dumb. So they may lose a million. Doesn't mean they don't get a million on the other side or it gets better. Now, I don't really believe in that either, what they're doing. But it doesn't matter what I believe. It just matters what reality is. And no business, you think somebody like uh, Chipotle is going to come out and say, let's just raise prices $5. We'll lose half our customers, but it's okay. But we're not going to test it. Okay, so just understand this, understand this, understand this, understand this, okay? MDB, if MDB get, can get down to, to the 250 level, I like the 300s for earnings, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Snow is off limits, don't touch it four to six weeks. NOW, if this trades to 528 in the first five minutes and gives you a chance to get the five, 530s at two, very intriguing for a pop back up. Okay. Uh, Microsoft, nice breakout, 326. Tesla needs 188. That's what we know. That's what we know. Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, hope this records. I'm going to aggravate me if it doesn't. Okay. Everybody have a great trading day. Have a wonderful holiday. Uh, no call till Tuesday. Sam's in Vegas if you want to come meet up. Thank you. Have, have a great weekend. A wonderful, wonderful week, guys. Thanks, everyone.